This one might be my favorite one, but this might be my favorite City Edition jersey. I'm with you. They've all been good. Bledsoe comes up with the steal to start the game for LA, and he's got a chance for an and one. The Clippers have showed zone a bunch. 34 possessions last game for the Clippers showing zone, and that's a great sign. Prince into the corner. Beverly will try a three and connect on a three. There you go. I think the Denver game kept me awake because Minnesota missed so many layups. They missed 12 layups in that game well, for, as Towns well, well, gets sure. the three to go there. Towns drills the three. Towns, another attack and another finish for Cat. Prince gets all the way to the rack and finishes. Anthony Edwards getting into the party. Ant waved off Towns and told Torian Prince to come set the screen. And now Zubats has Edwards on him. Mismatch for the for the big fella and Zubat. Yeah, I was a much better player when I played with Akeem Olajuwon than when I played next to Elton Lister. <laughs> it's funny how that happens. Nothing so. wrong. And they've gotten a lot of good ones, and they just haven't been able to knock them down. It's going to happen. By the way, you think about the Rockets. As he was really good last ball game for the Clippers. Uh-oh, Batum just took that away and takes it to distance. You had a snuff and a patty cake on one possession. And then you got a Nasrid finish in traffic and another eight. Terrence Mann up on him, forces him to give up the dribble. Shot clock getting low. Edwards for three. And of course he drills it. He's become a, a sage after the game, too, with post-game interviews. He's, oh, he's, he's got must, such great clarity. Yeah, must-watch TV. He, he, when he misses, he tends to miss short, but that time, a tremendous arc. Jackson. How the Clippers play defense here based on what they do offensively. And Jim, they played zone on a healthy number of possessions on Wednesday as Paul George in the NBA because he's mastered making shots like that. If you're going to be diminutive and be in this league, you need to be able to do that. How about Anthony? McLaughlin. Oh, Vanderbilt. It's, it's like a high wire act. It really is. Beasley for three, and the Wolves are hitting the shots. You have to adjust now as a player. Oh, McLaughlin, great knock away. Beasley gets it right back, was ready for it, drills to three. Bernard and the Clippers. He's got six now in this game. Clippers on a 12 nothing run. Minnesota won for his last 11 in Carl Anthony Town. Paul George. They're trying to go score stop score here. That's what they're thinking. The tomb. Man. LA an 18 to 5 run. Beasley and Malik with his third triple of the game. Batum. Man. Yeah, Minnesota did get one of those Portland players. It, wa it wasn't Nicholas Batum, though. It was Martel Webster. It was Zubats gets the big 6 8 is that big that can shoot and defend. Ants underneath, and he draws the Ants one. Oh, yeah. Clippers trying to get it back to a one possession game. And they do get it to a one for Edwards, so use the escape dribble. Beasley, that rebound went a little bit too high. And Batum the other way. They're driving layups that he's not been able to com complete. Beasley, Finally, man. Beasley. Did they need that? Oh, that was refreshing. Beasley. And he comes off the curl to be able to make another. Thought maybe off that initial bounce, it might come back down and go through. Jackson. That's a tough shot by Reggie Jackson. Oh, trying to get back to 500 on the season. Edwards on the attack. Goes to the left hand. And the finish. Again, angle screen. Edwards for three. And finally connects from three in the second half.
Nas just comes up and sets a good screen and makes things happen. Wolves on an 11-2 run until that th strong. And now Paul George with four quick points here. Get it to go. Terrence Mann, and how about Ooh. Paul George? Mann with the exclamation point finish, wow. but that pass by Paul George. Timberwolves have hit on only eight of their last 41 shot attempts. Kennard. Well, three players leading their team in all those categories. Towns. Wow. That's a great hoop for only his 11th shot attempt in the game. Still a lot of time, but you can't understand how complex it is and how much, you know, video you have to watch and how you have to look at the game and all the situational basketball you have to know as a head coach. It's, Pat Bev makes a really... Jackson. Assistant from outside the arc, at least at this juncture. He, he's going to be a great shooter and great scorer from all levels. Takes that basketball there away from Zubats. And really, I mean, D'Angelo Russell has been probably one of the bigger disappointments in terms Paul George. Terrence Mann, oh, one-handed. He goes in one fell swoop, grabs the rebound, and passes it. Since being up by 20, 11 of 49 well, shooting. And I mean, Jim, that's... the other thing is though, you know, you've got to find more shot. I know that he's, I know he's been defended well, but you got to find a way to get more shots. For... And I, listen, the, <laughs> the last time he only had 11 shots in a game, Chris Finch said in the post game, we got to get him more shots. Yeah. That 11 isn't enough. So yeah. that's not my opinion. That's the head coach's opinion. And I'm sure he's going to feel the same way after this one. Although there's the third. Well, Morrow trying to scoop pass it inside tonight. Terrence Mann with a finish. Timberwolves with an anemic second half. 12 points in the fourth quarter, 27 points in the second half. Timberwolves, they, they followed that form. The points and the shooting percentages went down every single quarter of the game.